factorize fully. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we look at this x squared. To produce an x squared, we need an x and an x. So we need x and an x here. So to produce this number, 6, we have to find two numbers that when we multiply them, we produce um, 6. And when we add them, it will produce the middle um, number, which is 5. And that number is 3 and 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. That will give, this will give you the um, last term. And if you add 3 and 2, it will give you this middle term. So now let's work on the sign. So these are all plus. So that means that the sign is all plus. Now we can check this if we um, factor it cor correctly. If we multiply this um, two, we should get the um, original problem. So x times x is an x squared. And then x times two is two x. And then 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 2 is 6. So we have x squared. 2x plus 3x is 5x plus 6. So we indeed um, factored it correctly. So this, uh, this is the um, answer factor. So next problem, x squared plus x minus 6. So... So this x squared, it came from an x and an x. So now this number, minus 6, it came from multiplying um, two numbers. And um, this uh, middle term, that when we add them, this middle term will um, that produce this middle term when we combine these um, two numbers. So... Um, Combine. Combine go. Yeah. Mm. So um that number gonna be a one and a six. Mm -hmm. So put a one. They're learning how to read. Or it can be one and a six or a three and a two. So I think I like um three and a two. So two and a three. 2 and 3 is 3 times 2 is 6 and then um, 3 and 2 combine 3 and 2 it will give you a 1 or a 5 so now let's work on the um, signs we have so the um, um, higher number must be um, positive because of this plus sign plus 6 the middle term so that means that 3 is plus and the 2 is minus. So now we can um, check if we factored it correctly. If we multiply this 2, we should get the original um, polynomial. So we have x times x is x squared. And then x times a minus 2 is a minus 2x. And 3 times an x is plus 3x. And 3 times a minus 2 is a minus 6. So x squared and then minus 2x plus 3x is a plus 1x or just x. Or, and then minus 6. So we um, factored it correctly because we have the um, original equation or um, original polynomial. So x squared minus 5x minus 6. So let's factor this one. So the x squared come from an x and an x. So this minus 6 is um, come from two numbers. That when we combine them, we get minus 5. So I like 1 and a minus 6. Now let's work on the um, sign. Now the um, dominant 
sign is it's a minus five so that means that this six is minus and then this one is a plus one so let's um multiply it if we see if we get it um if we factor it correctly so we have x squared minus 6x plus x minus 6. So x squared minus 5x minus 6. So we did it correctly. Answer. So x squared minus 6x plus 9. So the x squared come from an x and an x. And then a 9, so two numbers that, w that when we multiply, it will produce 9. And when we com if we combine them, we will get this um, middle term, which is a minus 6x. So um, I like um, 3 and 3. So let's see. So 3 and 3. So let's work on the um, sign. So this one is positive. That means that the um, these two numbers have the same sign. So it's going to be a plus, plus, or a minus, minus. Because plus times a plus is a, po is a positive or plus. And minus sign, minus times a minus is also a plus. So we can be a minus and a minus 3, and that will give us a minus 9. But then this, um, this sign will tell us the um, sign of this, um, of this because uh, it's minus 6x. Because when we um, combine these two numbers, it will give us minus 6x. So I show you what you what I mean. So we have we multiply this. So we have x times an x is x squared, and then we have x times a minus x is three x, and then minus three x times a mi minus three times x is a minus three x, and then minus three times a minus three is a positive nine. So this um, sign will tell us the sign of this factors because when we um, combine them we will get the middle term which is minus 3 times a minus 3 is a minus 6x minus 3x minus 3x is equal to minus 6x and then a plus 9 so this one last one x squared plus 10x plus 20 5. So this x squared came from an x and an x. And then we're looking for two numbers that when we multiply them will produce 25. And when we combine them, it will produce plus 10x. So a 5 and a 5 is a good candidate. I like. So we have, uh, so we have to work on the sign. So this sign tell us that they are um, plus 25 tell us that they these two will have the same sign and this sign will tell us that it is positive it is positive so x plus 5 x plus 5 so let's check it let's multiply them see if we get the original polynomial I like that one. so x plus 5 so x times an x is x squared x times 5 is plus 5 x and then plus 5x and then 5 times 5 is 25 so x squared 5 plus 5 is 10x plus 25 so we factored it correctly